Hi there, I'm Arun Nukula, Product Line Manager for VMware Arrays at Lifecycle and I'll walk you through uh, the different procedures or what really happens when you try to upgrade your VMware Arrays at Lifecycle from 8.12 to 8.14. So let's begin. So let's log into LCM or VMware Arrays at Lifecycle. Click on Lifecycle Operations. Click on Settings. Then click on System Details. As you can see, the current version is 8.12.0.7 right? It's version 8.12. Let's go back to settings. Click on system upgrade. You have three options here. One is check online, URL, and CD-ROM. When I select check online and check for an upgrade, it goes ahead and contacts the Y catalog or uh, VMware's repository where the RPMs are present. It's going to download them and then perform an upgrade of your product. That's an online mechanism. The second option is your URL where if you have an HTTPS repository in-house, you can download the update repo ISO, extract it, and uh, you can give that particular URL over here, give the username and the password. When you up, uh, when you actually click on check for upgrade, it's going to validate the manifest and give you an option to go and upgrade your uh, you know, audio search lifecycle. The third option is a CD-ROM option where uh, I'll download the update repo, put it in a data store, map that ISO into uh, the virtual appliance, check for an upgrade, it's going to identify the upgrade, then perform an upgrade directly from the ISO image. Okay, so we will go with the third option right now. So before I go, I need to validate if I have a valid snapshot or not. So let's go and create a snapshot. Uh, Enter vc.camp.org, which is my virtual center server. Enter the select the credentials. Uh, click on submit. It's going to create a request. Wait for this request to complete. You can see there's a snapshot created. It's completed here. All right, so we should be good to go. So let's go in system upgrade. Select CD-ROM. Check for an upgrade. Upgrade is available. So um, let's click on upgrade now. It's going to ask for a consent. I mean, whether you've taken a snapshot. Yes, we did. Click on next, run pre-check. While it's running pre-check, I'm just going to go log into my LCM and uh, show you the logs where we would, we would actually uh, store all the logs for this upgrade, right? So okay, so all the validations have passed. Now, what do we validate? We would actually validate uh, the mandatory, mandatory value check, you know, whether the repository is available. Uh, the second one would be the root password check. The third one with the disk space on the root file system. The fourth one would be the request in progress uh, check. The fifth one would be the ARIA suite lifecycle health check. And the sixth one would be the VMware identity manager health check. Okay, so once all these health check passes, we will actually go and start an upgrade. Now, remember, the moment you click on upgrade, watch the buddy, uh, the shell session, the, and, and next to that on the right side, I click on upgrade. It creates a folder called CAP non LVM update. This is the folder where your workflow logs are located, or the install logs are located, or upgrade logs are located. Okay, so let's say. Uh, ls ltrh and you have workflow.log. If you do a tailspace-f workflow.log, you can actually see the binaries are being copied and you know the RPM uh, uh, checks are being done and the staging will be done. Now remember, uh, uh, in, in previous versions like you know 8.10, 8.8, and 8.6.2 for that matter, when you were trying to upgrade LCM to uh, Till 8.12 for that matter, right? You would see the files being downloaded one by one, a green ticks next to it, correct? Now you don't see that. Why? Till 8.12, we were using VAMI to actually support your appliance upgrades. From 8.12 onwards, we will be leveraging CAP, which is a common appliance platform, which would be the backend engine which supports your appliance upgrade. So 
when it's at 22 when when you're when you see your upgrade is at 22 percent it's actually doing your staging and rpm checks and when it moves from 33 to 55 percent that's when the inst inst installation of rpms is happening as you can see here right so the copying is done staging is done uh, pre uh, install extension script is done and that's when your installation actually starts right so now since the installation actually started now you would see a uh, two different uh, install files being created okay so let's do a tailspace hyphen f install the latest one 848 is the latest one and if you do a tail you can see the uh, rpm files being installed over here okay this process would take some time to complete now once this process is complete you would actually have a post update phase uh, which is triggered so yeah so let's wait till this particular uh, installation phase completes and then we can move on to the next step so in this phase uh, when it's at 55 percent the installation of the rpms is on uh, the only log you would monitor is this install log. There is no other log you need to check. Okay, so it would actually go and upgrade your cap engine first. Then it's going to go ahead and upgrade the application files. Uh, once that application files are done, it's going to go ahead and upgrade the content management backend, which is your Blackstone. Okay, so yeah, we just need to wait for some time so that this is done. It's almost there. So he's starting the services. It's going with the Blackstone, which is a content management backend. <laughs> And the VCU CLIs over there itself with the orchestrator CLIs, which is used to for capturing and deploying the workflow content from orchestrator. So pretty much there. Okay, so exit status zero, which means your RPM installation is complete. So now let's exit this log and let's go back to workflow.log. And you can see that uh, the RPM installation is completed here and it started with post install. Now for post install, we need to move to a different log called uh, post update.log. So let's keep this log over here. Okay, and we'll open a different tab.
All right. CD var log bootstrap and our tail hyphen f post update dot log. As you can see, a post update actually started. Uh, don't worry about the exceptions here. It's not an exception really. It's executing a script in the back end. So if you open post update dot log, it actually performs a lots of functions. It, it it does go ahead and you know checks the RPM status, uh, creates a cap user, uh, disables password expiration, and lots of other stuff. Okay, and and there's a script called uh, varlib vrlcm populate dot sh, and this this script actually takes a little bit of time. So right now it's actually waiting to execute finish that execution of that particular script so let's go and open another tab uh, to monitor that script execution we need to go to different log so let's log into the server again so there's a file called uh, data script.log you can monitor this particular file to see what's happening and this would take around uh, five to ten minutes approximately so let's open another tab and see what's happening with vmware underscore vrlcm dot log Okay, it's trying to start the service. I mean, basically, it's trying to update the DLFs, which is dormant license factory file, which is used to validate your licenses. When you supply a license, when you click on validate, right, the file which is behind uh, for encoding or decoding the la the license, that's called a DLF. So it's trying to uh, update all the schemas and all that stuff in the back end. So we got to wait for some time for this particular task to complete. And once it's complete, uh, then you are... Uh, your populate.sh script should finish, then it would go and conclude your post update, eventually concluding or upgrade, right? So we need to wait now. Okay, it started the post calls now. So there are a bunch of calls which it, ex it, ex it ex executes. Here it's going to take around five minutes approximately and then conclude the script execution. So let's wait.
It's almost there. Just need to wait for this particular populate search to finish. It's almost there and uh, should quickly see it. Yep, that's it. So the script finished populate search and update zero, which means it's all good. Now, if you go back to uh, post update.log, you can see that the populate search got finished and you know it moved on to execute some other, uh, you know, like. Uh, create camp update, cleaning up uh, the old PSPAC databases and all that stuff. And, you know, it eventually concluded the uh, post update. Because post update is complete, if you go to workflow.log, you can see that the upgrade is also finished. And in, in, in no time, you should see the UI reloaded where uh, it will prompt you back to the login screen. Yeah, that's it. So now let's go back let's log in remember previously there was a reboot but there is no reboot right now thanks to cap right now if you go here and uh, let the UI load you can see that the upgrade concluded 8.12 to 8.207 to 814 then go to uh, environments you can see the global environment here and all the actions um, and if you go to settings system details you can see it's on 8.14 for sure let it load yep that's 8.14 and the product support pack That's a product support pack. All right. So uh, this concludes upgrade. So everything's up and running. You're on uh, 814 now. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching.